Hi Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. This is a scene tarot and yes, of course, I'm the scene's mother. Okay, we are here. Mama is here on the channel and Mama is about to have this channel for seven days, you guys, seven days. Now, if you are wondering where your girl at, she's on my channel. She's over there on my channel and she's hacking everything out of that channel, okay? <laughs> All right, so, you guys can always go over and subscribe to the channel. She's on there. She's doing all your reads over there. Also, you guys, I will put the I will put the link in the description so you guys can go over there. Easy access and subscribe so you keep keep up with your girl, okay? But for now, honey, we are over here. We are over here. We are over here for seven days, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and kind of cleanse the energy here. Cleanse the atmosphere. We're going to say a prayer. Because on my channel, I do pray, okay? A prayer is always a must for me. Always a must. So I'm going to burn the energy out, clear whatever that doesn't need to be coming through here. Ask the angels to bless us and to guide us and send positivity through here. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I come before, I ask for your blessings for myself and for all those who are watching. Let no evil or anything that is dark or anything that is sad or anything that may harm myself or those who are watching me, ask and believe in your power and your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, you guys. All right. So just know that this reading is a general reading and it's not a personal one. So it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does resonate with you at this moment and leave the absolute rest. You can pull in your person's energy, a past, present, or future person. Even for the cross, watch or cross watchers who are watching, same applies, you guys, okay? Now, personal reading is also available on the channel. So, if you guys are interested in having a personal reading, the information on how to connect for a personal reading will also be in the description of this video. And again, you guys, please do not force your read because it's not meant for you to force, my darlings, okay? All right, let's get into your read. Let's get to an angel here. The angel that is coming through. This angel is here to assist me with your reading, okay? And this angel is also the angel that you will keep for yourself. Write this angel number and their placement in line on white paper or parchment paper. Place it under your pillow while you sleep, okay? Uh, what is the angel here to assist me, please? What is your purpose here in the number placement in line for Scorpio at this time? All right, so we have the angel of success. The angel of success will be the 31st angel in line. So, wow. Thank you for coming through to assist me with this reading for Scorpio. We appreciate you. All right, Scorpio, let's see what your challenge is right now, okay? For some of you who have a lot of unanswered questions or whatever you're going through as far as your emotions are right now with your finances, you're really kind of, kind of tired of being living from paycheck to paycheck, okay? Um, you're just knowing that something is better out there, but you're not even knowing where to place your feet or where to start. All right, let's see. Let's see what your challenge is here. What's the challenge? What's the challenge here at this time? challenges here okay that you're presently dealing with right now Scorpio all right so your first challenge here and just saying that you need to actually free yourself okay you need to be set free free yourself you don't need to be in control mm -mm, of everything for a love relationship to be successful. You just don't. Just free yourself from that and let it go. This is one of your challenges. That's your first challenge. Unbreakable love is your second challenge. And just saying that this person has genuine love for you though. Okay? You need to know that. Um, you can overcome any issues that may arise from what you're presently dealing with right here. For some of you going through something where maybe you guys are not seeing eye to eye based on what you're either seeing, feeling, or here are sensing here. Your third challenge is be open. Be open. Open yourself to love. Okay? 
um, it is safe for you to let your heart be seen. Don't be scared. Okay, so that is, this is your third challenge. And your fourth challenge is that you need to take your power back. Just take back your power. You are giving someone control over how you feel. Your happiness should only depend on you and only you, okay? So what you didn't see on the back of the deck is reaching your goals here. And this talks about your financial stability and security and where you see yourself rolling into the next five years. You not living from paycheck to paycheck, just like I picked up earlier, okay? Um, and just knowing what is what is best for you, what is right for you. Tap it into your future goals here because you need to know that everything you want from this connection will manifest in the near future. If it ain't for you, then it won't be for you. But if it is, Angel is going to have your goals reaching out, reaching your goals. It's going to have to be something where they're connecting to you and you're connected to them. It's going to have to be equal. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, you guys, I'm going to be using, tapping into your energy using my, my deck here. My deck is for sale right now, you guys. It is called the Awakening 1111. If you are interested in purchasing this deck, you could go ahead and check in the description and you'll see exactly how to do so. All right. All right. What's the message for Scorpio at this time, Angel? What is it that you needed to share with Scorpio at this time? What's the message? Tapping into the energy of Scorpio. And all those who are attached to Scorpio, please. What's the message here? What's the message to Scorpio? What's the message for Scorpio? Okay, Scorpio. So I feel like there's either you're connected to someone that has a lot of pride here, or this could be you. But at the end of the day, I'm getting peace. Mm. Peace, or someone might have been ghosted, or so you felt, or so you feel. This person may be being distanced, or this could be you. Hmm. Okay. Some kind of a cloud of judgment that was connected to someone being distracted here. But now this person wants to come back, though. But you're healing from what they might have left here, or cleansing what they might have left. But some is either angry or feeling very bitter here because of this player person. Or so you feel someone may be releasing or trying to release something here. Okay. All right. New love, honey. That's coming in. So some of you guys might have met someone else or this could be them. All right. There's some kind of a secret that was hidden here. Now, for some of you guys here, okay. Because what I did pick up, the very first card that came through was, it really tells me that um, whatever that you're connected to, you're either feeling hopeless or this could be them that's feeling hopeless, okay? Uh, for some of you guys, um, I really feel like pride gets in the way here of a connection. Um, it doesn't help the situation at all. It doesn't help. It just makes the situation move slower than it really needs to be. For some of you guys, I'm hearing, I can't, I can't tell you everything right now, but I do care. So I do feel like this person wants to come clean about a situation here, but pride get the best of them. So it holds them back from really coming in and being logical and being honest about what it is that you're truly dealing with right now. What is it to expect as far as what's coming in? For some of your intuition already tells you otherwise, but you're trying to find peace though. So even if you don't want to be with this person or even if you're trying to fix something, a connection here, you're still trying to get peace. You're still trying to resonate with peace. You're still trying to make sure that you're not falling between a rock and a hard place with this person and the connection that they bring towards you. This could be a, a Cancer, a Scorpio like yourself or a Scorpio in their chart. Or this could be a Pisces person. Okay? But you really want to resonate with peace. This is what I'm seeing. Now, for some of you guys, you're either feeling that this person might have left, ghosted you, or showed you otherwise here. Okay, um, I feel like some of you maybe even be married to this person or maybe you have some kind of a promissory ring that you're wearing that person might have given to you. Um, but someone is avoiding something here. Someone is avoiding a commitment or someone is just wanting to just be a runner or whatever is going on with this person, okay? But someone is being a resistance. Someone is being, someone is retaliating here. 
on their own whatever they're going through. It has nothing to do with you. You don't resonate with that. You didn't ask for that. You didn't sign up. This is not something that you signed up for, Scorpio. This love is not giving me nothing but stress. It's stressing you out. Whatever this is going on here with this person, you're not getting any peace from it. So what it's doing? It's making you feeling very overwhelmed, very overburdened here. Very tired and exhausted. Now, for some of you guys, okay, I just know that the roles could be reversed, okay? But what I am seeing here as well is that you're either feeling very distant from this person or they might have allowed themselves to be distant. Even though you might have really, really, really did every single thing that you thought in your power that you could have done to make this connection solid, to make this connection um, feel like it could sustain whatever the wind blows your way with it. But someone definitely needed to release something here. Something needed to be released because there's no way, okay, that you could have tried and you did try. But this person really needs to release this mask here, this dark mask that is sitting here, constantly sitting here. It needs to be released here. I come with drama and third party problem. This person's practically seen someone else. It could be on the low or it could be on the high. However you choose to sit it, but somebody's seeing someone here. Because why? Because they're easily distracted. I'm seeing a lot of distraction here that is coming through. I'm seeing you thinking and thinking and thinking. If there's something that I might have done wrong, is there something that I could change that this person will let this person go? If what the hell could I do to have this person really see me for who I really truly am? For some of you, you just don't care right now. Because the only thinking that you're doing is walking away. Walking away and walking away this time permanently. Because you feel like you might have invested a lot of things here. And you feel like, you know, the more that you invest is the more that you feel like you're caught up in a bottle. You've been trapped or confined in a bottle here that is making you feel very bitter. Now you're feeling like you don't even know if you love this person anymore. You feel like you're kind of starting to have bitterness and anger here towards this person. This is how you're really truly feeling. Be careful how you share at this time because this person, the way that I see things going right now, it's like you're going through some kind of a thunder with this person, some kind of a shocking awakener or something that's happening here, okay? So you have to be really sh careful how you're even sharing energy right now with this, with this entire situation because this person is giving me a player energy. I'm getting a player in the midst here. For some of you, this person might have taken a risk with your heart. Or this could be you that took a risk with your own heart. Or this could be a person who took a risk with someone else, third party. And that kind of made somebody lost it. Now, this could be you that lost it or this could be them. But somebody's having a really bad cloudy judgment here. Somebody's not, not able to, to either see straight things straight, yearn straight, whatever. But someone is dealing with something where someone feels like they're blindfolded by something here, okay? And I do feel like your person is going to suffer some kind of a consequence here for their action. Someone's going to have to deal with something here, treasure us, okay? Karma, it's called. Karma has said that someone got you where you, some something where someone got you where they thought they might have wanted to get you. But at the end of the day, you end up with a broken heart here. And this person gave you no closure. So what's going to happen here is karma. So someone will have to deal with something here, okay? And not only are they dealing with something, but this is the return of a return, honey. Because this person wants to come back. This person wants to have a conversation here. This person wants to gain some kind of a connection with you once again. But there's a feeling of still trying to balance something out here. Someone is trying to um, stipper something. Someone is trying to either change something. Someone is either trying to um, juggle two things, being overwhelmed here, taking on too much of a responsibility. Someone needs to choose. Someone needs to choose. If this person is going to return, then they're going to have to choose. Does someone have to choose? And they're going to have to choose carefully. 
For some of you, you're either feeling very vulnerable right now. Very vulnerable, okay? Um, I do feel like you might have lost your self-worth for some of you. You might have even lost the beauty in your in, in your heart, in yourself, the way that you looked at yourself in the mirror. Do you love me is what you ask this person. The way that I love you. But ain't you just saying what you need to ask yourself? Is it time for healing? Because healing is needed. For some of you, it's all about cleansing the energy right now and making space and making room for happiness here. Because you're in pain. There's a lot of pain that is coming through. But someone wants to be pain-free here. But still think about their person. And again, cleansing is needed. Cleansing, honey. Cleansing. The only thing that is needed right now is cleansing. Someone needs to cleanse their space, cleanse their energy here, cleanse your mindset. Moving into some kind of a direction here. I'm pain free, but still think about you. Releasing something here. Because this person is really ready to apologize. The apology is coming here, but they're kind of slow at this apology is what I'm seeing here. Because of ego here. Blocked and deleted. I'm done pandering dreams. If this person doesn't apologize, you don't even care anymore. Whether they want to come towards you with this apology, you don't even want to care anymore because you feel like this person is coming towards you with some kind of a secret that is hidden. You already know. Your intuition already tells you that this person may be hiding something here. Something that is, feels like it's forbidden. Okay? A forbidden something. For some of you, you feel like this is maybe a curse at this point because of the, the, the gossips and everything that's going on around this entire situation. Untold truth, that's never ending. That's how y'all feel, okay? But I feel like, you know, for some of you, it's all about new love at this point. You're either feeling like you're done, you're cutting, done cutting dreams here with this person. You want to meet someone new. You want to have this person be the reflection of you here. Maybe you met someone that wants to take you out on a date or something, but you're still tied up with a past situation, okay? There's a hidden truth that's coming in here. Something that's wearing a mask as well. I'm hiding something, but um, don't want you to, to, to lose me. I don't want to lose you. This person don't want to lose you. They're hiding something, but they're afraid that they're going to lose you if they tell you the truth. Untold truth, that's, that's never ending. Yeah, they don't want to tell. They're scared to tell you. They don't want to tell. Tell me more. I feel like for some of you, though, oh, Scorpio, I feel like you already, you already know. It's like, at this point, it doesn't really matter if this person even come towards you with anything because you already know. You know that this person is dealing with some kind of an addiction here. And you know that this person is coming towards you with some kind of a turmoil. Some kind of a, an ego. Okay? Um, blocked and deleted. I'm done pandering dreams. So you're about to block this person permanently. Not only you're about to block this person, but you already know that this person is also connected to conflicts here. Argument and, argument and conflicts that continuously keeps going and going and going like a train okay and you feel like this person is taking you to some kind of a train wreck a train wreck because of these turmoils here like a something that is very dark and kind of a dark kind of a cloudy type of a situation that you're dealing with here or struggling to communicate with this person how you really truly feel they won't allow you to communicate how you really truly feel and they won't either because they like to be in control. They like to be in control. They want to be in control. They see things the way that they see things. They will not let their guards down to even have you saying how you want to, to, want to say or want to feel. Um, they stop everything that you may have come up with. It's their way or the highway. And for some of you guys, you're just taking your power. And this person does not like that. They don't. They don't want that. They don't want to be a part of you taking your power because they know once you take your power back, it's a wrap for them because you're going to be seeing things very, very clearly here. Very, very clearly. All right, angels, let me have some more messages here, please, for Scorpio at this time. Let me have some more messages for Scorpio, please. Let me have some more messages for Scorpio. What's the message for Scorpio at this time, angels? What's the message for Scarpo at this time? Okay, 
Scorpio. Yeah. <laughs> They're threatened by you. That's for sure. Dirty little secrets. They're threatened by you because they know they know that you know a lot. So they threaten. Tell me more. Wow. You do have some kind of a history with this person though. They might have poisoned the connection. Because somebody gave this person access. Access. To poison a situation here. Ended up being very toxic here. Now someone feels like they're in a pressure cooker here. Being cooked alive. Oh my goodness. Why am I seeing legal, legal papers here? Court situation here. Let's see. Let's see, Scorpio. Tell me more. All right, so somebody's either thinking about being single or done here, done with a situation here. My goodness. All right, so you're either feeling threatened, like I said before, Scorpio, for some of you guys here. Um, because, see, this person might have humiliated you or made you feeling very embarrassed here because of their appearances. This person could even be addicted to something here. They could be addicted to something. Whatever they're addicted to, it's really taking its toll. Not only is it taking its toll on you, but it's definitely taking its toll on them, believe it or not. For some of you guys, everything that moves is a suspect. This is the energy that I'm seeing here. I'm seeing someone peeking out the, wind, peeking out the front door here. Here, closing or trapped or being frustrated here. But angels are saying that you have to get a grip on it, on whatever. Maybe for some of you, you need to release the anchor here or release the chains or release the way, the feeling of feeling weighed down, okay? Now I'm hearing a history. So this is telling me that something from the past might have happened here. Something happened from the past or you're connected to something from the past. But well, that situation is having you feeling like you're on a roller coaster, right? This is what I'm seeing. You're being on a roller coaster here with something that is very poisonous here. It's not healthy for you. It's definitely not healthy for you. Someone is either choosing to be on a highest high here. Some kind of a rush. It's a poison. Toxic, unhealthy behaviors of people. Because someone allowed others to be in the energy. And that backfired. Because access was granted. I'm hearing social media, fake people, fake profile, or someone's hiding here. And this is why you're getting a pressure cooker vibes here. Somebody's ready to explode. And I'm hearing when this explosion happens, it's not going to be pretty. Because somebody's about to file legal papers here, court papers or something. Somebody's, somebody's taking down somebody here. Somebody's about to put the trash out. Disregarding the throw, throwing out something here. Someone doesn't care at this point because someone is, is really, really prefer to be single and done with a situation. Current statue, available. Current status, available. Done. I'm done. I'm out. Completion. Lesson learned. I'm over. It's over. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. No more energy given. No more access granted. Honey, access is over. My goodness. Access is over. No more access granted here. None. Whatsoever. Alright, so I'm getting this journal that's coming in. So for some of you, I really feel like you may need to start writing things down or keeping your receipts on stuff here. It's like um, a feeling of making sure that you have proof of what's going on here. Maybe a diary or just keeping notes or start recording things or recalling things or reminiscing and memories and returning. Yes, something is going on here. I'm hearing this could be a message from your higher hub, your higher source here. The universe is, is giving you a message here. What's this? A meeting. Okay, so there's a meeting that's also happening for you guys, okay? 
Um, this meeting, I feel like it's just it's more than just two people discussing something or planning something. There's some kind of meeting that's going on. What is this meeting? What is this meeting? Okay. So this could be a meeting that is going to bring some kind of a spiritual path of some kind of awakening here. Because this is something that is maybe more than you, you're, you're prepared to handle. So angels are here. Your spirit guides are here. The ancestors are here, honey. Listen, everybody's here because something's about to go down. Children. Children is concerned here. Children is activated here. Young children or something, child situation or someone being playful or but there's children that's coming through here. Right? So someone's about to say something here. I'm getting an interview. Someone's about to talk. Someone's about to have some kind of a conversation here. But someone is trying to get on the same page of you or this could be you. But somebody's giving some kind of information here. I'm telling you. I am telling you, someone's pretending to be something they're not here. Someone's being very fake beyond their means. I'm hearing a commitment here as well. So I'm hearing long-term relationships. So whatever is going on here, honey, somebody's trying to be spiteful. Someone's trying to be mean, vicious, and spiteful. This is a twin flame person. So you thought. So you thought. Yeah, this person is, is, is ready. I'm hearing a, a child. So for some of you, it could be pregnant or about to be pregnant or the baby's already here. Maybe a young child in the present or in the moment or in the making or something. Terrify that, please. So someone doesn't know what to do here. One 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 two 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 three three three. Someone wants you silence. Silence. Someone wants to silence you. They don't want you to take action. So what's their plan is to make you silent. Oh my goodness. Okay, not to worry. Angels got your back though. Archangel Michael is here to protect you because that person is in denial. Protection prevented from harm. Divine intervention is coming through. Denial. That person is in denial. Not facing the truth or irrational reasoning. Hard to deal with. Cold as ice. Mean, vicious, bloodthirsty, hateful, and angry. What is that? That one flew. Let's get that. Okay, so I'm getting a divine feminine here. This could be a masculine. The roles could be reversed here, but this person is um, make it, causing you to have anxiety or something. Okay, they're either feeling scared or having you dealing with panic attack here because of some kind of projected or projection here with your future or something. Okay, somebody's doing some kind of a spell work here that's about to be revealed here they're either about to confess because they have no choice but to confess because god don't like ugly god don't like ugly what goes around comes around mm -hmm. that's because you're cleansing your energy so they have no choice but to release because angels is working on that okay they want to make sure that you have nothing nothing at all but that's backfired that's backfired because the angel michael is here on the angel raphael Working over time, interlude. Something's not about to put on pause or time out or something, okay? Because someone is dealing with some kind of nightlife situation here. This could be them, this could be you. Something's about to be put on pause, okay? Something about to be ended, stopped. Someone wants to be hurtful and mean and, and cruel. And stop try to stop your blessings or having you not shine or having people seize you at the as the enemy. Yeah, that's how they want to see you. Dealing with something mental or having you feeling like you're in prison 
or are you confined on a lockdown? Clarify this lockdown, please. Divine masculine. Divine masculine. The divine masculine. Wow. Very strong. Someone is mean and cruel. Okay. So for some of you guys, you're either dealing with some kind of a financial um, hardship is what I'm seeing. But I do see you're getting some kind of a financial support. It could be child support or holly money or some kind of a government assistance here. Yeah, that's unexpected. It's going to help you to reset and to recharge here. Because for some of you having a hard time doing that. Okay, so you're either bargaining with the situation or you're begging someone for help or aid or something. But that person ain't going to help because they're, they're an alien here. Listen to their own songs and their own dreams here. They don't care. Drastic, extreme, harsh, or cut off. You may be going about to cut that person off because... That person is dealing with something that you ain't got nothing to do with. Sexual chemistry is there, but hey, this person is um, filled with nothing but lust here. Um, something is about to be laid on the table here. This could be something that you're not when you're not there. Someone's either plotting someone something when you're not there, or someone being sad. Someone just want to be hurtful and mean and spiteful. So your heart won't be crushed here, but that's okay because you you're you're covered. I'm hearing sad, broken, or feeling alone here. This is what I'm seeing. Someone is wishing you to feel this way. But something is about to be reborn here. Something is going to be starting fresh, brand new. Clarity granted. Access granted to your clarity. Gross gossips is moving away here. There's a lot of people talking. People are talking. I feel like there's people that is like... Has granted access to your life that didn't have no lot or part to even be a part of your, not even of the air that you breathe. Okay, they, they, I'm hearing karma or something very karmic. Okay, yeah, they're talking. They, that's all they're good for is gossips, arguments, and conflicts, and dealing with petty situation and jealousy and envy and hate. That is connected to a soulmate person here. That's dealing, having you dealing with some kind of an emotion here that feels like it's ongoing and having you not being focused. The intervention is already here to rescue you. You've been rescued from this uh, twin flame situation. What is this? Okay. Amen. So somebody's out spending money that don't need to be spent here. This person may be out gambling, going to the casino and spending a harsh amount of money that don't need to be spent. This could be a blood tie, kind of a inner circle type of a situation chip for some of you guys. Someone is either about to try to set free or sail ship or exit the premises or something because someone is tired of being feeling stuck or feeling burnt out or beat up or lost in the wind or having others who are lost in the wind coming towards you with feeling lost you're just tired of being burdened and shook not by the situation here this is feeling of them, them not knowing their past or direction here but still coming towards you with heal intentions here not knowing their higher self or whatever bring comes towards you, they're trying to take that back. What's let's see. All right. The King of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and Nine of Pent the Nine of Cups in the reverse. All right, so there's nothing that's coming in from this person anymore. I do feel like they might have lost you, or so they feel like they might have lost you based on what the fact might have been done here. I feel like there's something that's coming towards you as far as drama is concerned. They come with drama, okay? They come with a lot of BS, okay? This is what I see them coming with. I feel like their energy is at the low right now, whatever is connected to you. Right now, they're at a low here, the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's money issues that's going on with this person. This person is either broke, broke or a deadbeat, okay? Um, there's a force here. This person, oh, 
talk about like to argue. There's so many arguments here. This is constant arguments here. And the main issue is not being rectified here. The nine of cups in the reverse. They're thinking that they they might have lost lost you, but hey, this person might have given you a re given you a reason to 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 keep it pushing, right? For sure, you don't even know if this person sometimes is is good for you or bad for you because their intentions is, is up and down. This person is moody at times. They did put an end to a dream at one point, even though you wanted to have some kind of an happy ending here. They did did cause pain. Ten of Cups in the reverse. Someone ended something here. And now you're healing from this with the Ten of Swords. You're putting an end to a cycle here that might have left you feeling broken or hurt or whatever. It might have caused some kind of anxiety. I do feel like there's a lot of dispute here that you might have suffered here. A lot of arguments here. That might have happened a lot of quarrel with you guys here, tapping into the Empress's energy, the Empress and the Eight of the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Four of Wands. So this is telling me right away that you might have built something here, something in abundance, something that you really wanted to resonate with a marriage. You could have been married to this person. You could have been married to this King of Pentacles, but this King of Pentacles right now energy is at a low vibration, honey. Okay. A low vibration but i see them coming in and out they want to come in and then they want to come out and then they want to come out and they want to come in very uncertain very unsure but someone really wants to try to build something here what is the four of wands the four of wands the six of wands in the reverse so they show their disloyalty already and I feel like they feel ashamed here. They even feel like they, they're, they're a loser for the way that they treated you, for the way that they did things, for the way that they put an end to this Ten of Cups in the reverse, for the way that they gave you this Ten of Swords, for the way that you had to heal, the way you're trying to find. But some of you guys, you're still healing from this. But they're coming back. They're not done yet. It's the, the death. In the, they're not done yet. It feels like um incomplete here. Something that feels very incomplete. This person wants to start again with you here. All right. What is the deck here, please? Someone wants to start, want to reconcile here, but still coming in with drama here. Something that is not finished, not done, not, not cleansed, not changed here. This person is dealing with this right here, okay? Something very toxic here. This person may be on drugs or... This person may be um, sexually addicted to something. It would be uh, some kind of a addiction of some sort. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, a drug addiction, but it could be any type of addiction that they're having a hard time to walk away from. Now, I'm hearing a fear that is setting in as far as this devil is concerned. Okay, someone wants to move on. Someone wants something bigger. Someone is seeing a bigger picture here, wants to move towards this bigger picture. But there's a setback. Someone is either have, having someone's energy tapped into theirs as far as this devil is, is concerned. Toxicity. Someone is dealing with a very toxic situation here that is kind of quenching onto you here. Even though you're trying to release this here, it's hard for you to release it because of fear and doubts. Justice is coming in. So I'm hearing a permanent separation, you guys, because something has to change here. The Queen of Swords, the Justice in the Reverse, divorce. Yeah. The Queen of Swords, the Justice in the Reverse, and the Ace of Swords in the Reverse. So there's definitely some kind of a delay here. Okay? I'm hearing you, there may definitely may be children that's connected to you here. This is what I'm picking up. And the energy is blocked. You might have dealt with some kind of a disaster here with this person or the situation. Um, because I'm hearing arguments here. Someone is just constantly arguing here. Man, who has time for that? You're going to block this person for sure because you're tired of these constant delays. Back to back to back to back. Constant delays. Oh my goodness. It goes on and on. Look at that. The Eight of Swords in the reverse, the Temperance and the Queen of Cups. So this is you releasing this right here, okay? You're finally getting it together. 
And you're done with these delays and you're freeing yourself from this eight of swords. Okay? Because you've given a, the situation patience. But angel wants you to have patience as far as your healing is concerned. Okay? There's a lot of work that needs to be done here. Um, the truth I'm hearing is going to be revealed here. You should not rush into the clarity and the truth that you're searching for because it's going to happen regardless. Um, and then again with the Queen of Cups here as well, okay? Now, I want you guys to take care of yourself, of your health, okay? Because your health is in great concern here because you've been so um, worried and stressed out, you guys. It's time that you really start taking care of yourself. But some of you just have to start eating healthy and that third party situation is here, okay? You've been stressed out about what they're doing. Third party conflicts here. That's in delay here as well. Okay. That's in delay. That third party situation feels like something fresh. That's obstacles. That 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 was massive. That that's like this third party situation caused a whole lot of the delay here. And it did because we have the knight of uh the knight of pentacles in the reverse. It really caused a lot of uh, things. This person just switched overnight. And this became careless and carefree. And not only careless and carefree, but I do feel like that, that, that Knight of Pentacles became a monster. A monster of mind games and manipulation. That's what I'm picking up on that. Oh, yeah. Mind games and master of manipulation. What is the knight of pentacles in the reverse, please? What is the knight of pentacles in the reverse, please, for Scorpio at this time? Please clarify that the angels of success. What is it that I need to share at this time? All right, so we have the son and the lovers here. So this person might have done left, okay? But now they want to come back. But you're blocking that. You're blocking that with the Six of Cups and you're blocking that with the Judgment being here. The Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse and the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands and Five of Wands also in the reverse. You're healing from that. You're not dealing with any more conflicts. You're making a decision here. You're moving away here. You're trying to rebuild something, restart or retreat something. Your happiness, okay? Good luck is coming towards you, but you have a decision that you have to be made, that has to be made here. Not only do you have to make a decision with the Wheel of Fortune here in the reverse, okay? Or they need to make one, but you definitely have to make one here as well with the judgment being here, okay? Because you're dealing with something that is very karmic. A lot of karmic situation here that is giving you setbacks here. The sun, the king of wands, and the aerophant in the reverse. Mind games over matter here. This person doesn't want to see you free or set free. They'll do whatever it takes to stop your process here, especially where your money is concerned. There's a lot of juggling that's going on here. That juggling has to end here. The Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, you guys. Abundance. Manifestation. Moving into victory. Rebuilding situations with family and friends here. Okay? You're doing what you need to do here. To free yourself. And to make sure that you're not dealing with anything that's financial that's taken more than it should. You've rested. You've thought about the four of swords. You're moving away from this devil right here because that's already toxic already as is. Okay. The five of cups. Look at that. This person's not there. They're not there because they did abandon the relationship. Now they're feeling very shame and, and out of place and, and feeling worthless here. But this person is a young energy, but they want to talk, though. They want to come back and have a conversation with you. But you, you're feeling like you're done with this two of cups energy business. You're done with that. Okay? You prefer to be separated or you already are. Okay? You already are. And this is what you might want because you feel like you're not reaping the fruit of your labor here. The nine of pentacles in the reverse. The nine of pentacles in the reverse. The nine of cups here. And the, the seven of wands. The seven of wands. The page of cups. Apology here. Coming. It's coming very fast here. Very fast approaching, but there's a tower moment, okay? This person wants to come in. They want to come in with some kind of apology for, for sure. They want to have something set here. They want to have a into they want their intuition to connect with yours. They want to have the second chance here with you. 
okay? Um, a decision is needed here because you need proof. You need solid proof. You need this person to understand how you felt or what you need to change here. You're not dealing with these lights anymore, the five of swords. The five of swords, the ace of wands in the reverse. Something new, honey. Okay? If it ain't new, you ain't going back there. Okay? Because there's no forward movement. As far as what they're coming back towards you with, I don't see anything changing here. Something seems to be unfolding. What is the ace of wands in the reverse? The ace of wands in the reverse is the king of cups here. The king of cups is something that you need something very long and very stable here. You might met, may have met this person already. But something has been blocked with moving forward because somebody's entwined into something that is toxic here. What is the King of Swords in the reverse? The King of Swords in the reverse is the Ace of Wands. I'm sorry, the Page of Wands. All right, so this is a young type of an energy here that wants to share with everyone. <laughs> okay? They want to share with everybody. Okay? The Queen of Pentacles, you're not putting up with that. You're not going to have fear, have you set back and bring any setbacks towards you here. You're moving forward and you're moving forward in glory and dignity here. You're cutting ties, you're releasing evil energy, even evil whatever. It doesn't matter who it is. You're releasing family members that you feel like is evil. You're moving relationships that you feel like is evil. You're blocking that. You're moving forward, okay? You're getting good advice with spiritual people and connecting to your higher self, which is the high priestess. The high priestess, the page of pentacles, all right, and the six of pentacles. So you've already invested a lot already, and you're getting back exactly what you invested in. This is what I'm seeing, okay? Clarity um, is coming in. Um, the her font and the seven of pentacles, okay? Reaping what you're about to sow. Big things. Any more? The, the, the fool, the her, the high priestess, the her font, and the pay, and the ace of, and the ace of cups. So see, this person is really want the ace of cups in the reverse. Okay, this person is really wanting to come towards you with something here for sure. Right, this is what I'm seeing. But there's a delay on them coming in because angels is trying to have you gain access to new love, you guys. Okay, you already took a leap of faith into that. Now you need to take a leap of faith into this. Use your intuition. The high priestess, the fool, the hierophant. I'm sorry, the emperor. Okay. Be smart about it. Use your spiritual knowing to move forward here. And trust in your power, your higher self. Okay. I feel like whatever you're connected to is very kind of stubborn. Yes. Yeah, very stubborn. Okay. Very stubborn, but you, on the other hand, have a spiritual calling on your life to really figure out this people, this person next move. And what is this, please? Knowing that you're burnt out and you're beat up already as is, okay? You're burnt out and you're beat up already as is, and you don't have no more time and energy to invest into that, you guys. It's giving you a breakdown. It's giving you a feeling of... Sadness here, you know, you don't have enough time for this all this sadness. You need happiness. What you need is happiness here. Joy is what I'm hearing. All right, let me see. Past, present, and future, please. Past, present, and future, please. Please clarify these messages, please, for Scorpio at this time. Please clarify these messages for Scorpio at this time, please, angels. All right, Scarpa, so what you didn't see in the back of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? So whatever it is that you were trying to manifest here, let's just say that came to a sudden halt, okay? Um, I do feel like, you know, for some of you, you really had your fair share of disappointments here. Not only had you had your fair share of disappointment, but you had your fair share of trusting a situation, of giving into a situation, and just watching that situation unfold the way that you never thought it would have. I do feel like, you know, someone might have just put an end to a lot of things here, things that you might have invested in or wanted to. Um, your hope, your dreams just, just suddenly just kind of fell apart here. 
um, and you really felt like, you know, you just didn't have any room to kind of, kind of really figure out what was really happening here. And it really put you into a very dark place here, trying to find a way to clarify what you really need right now versus what you had to deal with in the back, okay? Now, what I do see here, okay, um, that really clarifies what you had been through in the past is the Two of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Four of Swords, okay? So this really resonates to your past. Now, someone really put an end to a connection. You might have had a very strong, solid connection with this person. And so did they. But at the end of the day, their reaction, their action became a, a force of reaction, if that makes any sense, right? Whatever it is that they were doing, whatever it is that they were tampering with the energy, it really took its soul on you. It took its soul on you in the past, is what I'm seeing. It really brought a lot of anxiety and stress and depression. But some of you felt very depressed. You felt like you were dealing not only with anxiety, but you were dealing with sleepless nights here. You were waking up in sweats, being totally humiliated here. The nine of swords, okay? Um, you suffered severely here with whatever it is that you were dealing with, with this connection with your person. Um, and I do also feel like, you know, you really dig deep because you're a Scorpio, okay? And because you're a Scorpio, you're able to kind of get yourself out of deep things. Things that others would be able would be would find very hard to get themselves out of. You, Scorpio, found a way to dig yourself out of a pit. Okay? You got out of it and you got out of it in, in your good grace. It wasn't easy, but I feel like you found a way. You found your own little way to kind of heal it might have been something very slowly that you, how you had to heal from it but honey baby scorpio did you ever did you ever okay um and that's what i love about you scorpio because my daughter is a scorpio i know <laughs> okay um you did you did and you 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 got out of whatever you're feeling but some of you may still go through this process but you have figured a way how how to heal yourself from whatever it is that you might have felt that you had to enjoy with this nine of swords, okay? You were so disappointed. Oh, I could all I could feel it. Now, what I see over here in your present right now is the nine of cups. Okay, we have the nine of cups, you guys, and I love these cards. The nine of cups, the seven of pentacles, and then we have the queen of wands here. Now Moving forward, okay, because see, because you have really found your spiritual path and you, you've you really tapped into your higher self and, you, and you're really talking to the universe and you're connected with the universe on a different type of a level, right? What is happening is a breakdown of your life here. I'm seeing opportunity that's coming through, okay? You, you, you're about to embark on some opportunities here. That is going to be so huge and so massive and it's going to bring you some kind of uh, an awareness. Not only is this awareness, but it has to do with decisions with, with where your money is. Because I do feel like for some of you, you're feeling like money could be better. Or for some of you, your money situation is just kind of not where it needs to be, right? But this is changing, you guys. This is changing because I feel like you're, you're really putting in some kind of a plan here. You're coming up with some kind of a, a master plan, okay? You really are. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to see you manifest this dream. You're coming up with a master plan. You're heading towards your goals. You're staying focused. You're remaining focused. And you're making sure that there is absolutely nothing in sight to distract you based on what you really need to be manifesting right now, okay? Based on what is coming towards you. The Nine of Cups. And the seven of pentacles. You get ready for something huge here. You're unstoppable, Scorpio. That is what you are. Um, the queen of wands in reverse. Is the, listen, nothing can harm you at this point. Because you're moving forward into something here. Um, even though things may try to take its toll. Even though you may get a little bit wobbly and stuff at time. But you're able to get up and move again. You're able to walk into something glorious and victorious. Yes, you've had a, a hard road to travel. You have a mighty long way to go, but you're getting there. 
you're making progress here. You're letting go baggages here. You're releasing hurt. You're releasing pain. You're healing. You're healing. And those healings is already taking place. Because what this healing has brought towards you is something with great fortune. It's something that's making you wise beyond your years. Beyond your years, okay? Now, this is what you also needed to know also, Scarpa, that I wanted to let you guys really tap into, okay? Coming towards you, what you have not seen is the nine of wands in the reverse. We also have the four of pentacles here, you guys. And then we have the ace of swords. And that showed in the reverse, okay? Now, I want you guys to know this, right? Because you're kind of still between healing and moving forward into something new, you have to really be sure that you are protecting yourself in every way, shape, or form, okay? You have to be sure that you keep your circle extremely tight here and lit. And when I say tight and lit, I mean tight and lit. Because, see, you're in that, you're, you're, you're kind of purging right now, okay? The Ace of Swords in reverse and the Four of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands. You, you know, you're on a purge, okay? You're on a purge. It's like you're releasing old skin and regrouping fresh, brand new skin, okay? Um, this is what you're doing here. Um, you making sure you're making room for something new. You're making sure that you're not connected to anything from your past. You're making sure that you have your present situation of what you're trying to heal or what you're trying to move forward into stays. And not only is are you making plans for this to stay with this uh, this seven of pentacles here, you also making sure that your plan is a plan that will work accordingly. You're making sure that this plan is something that will take you further into where your career paths and choices are concerned. You're making sure that you are not being backed up on bills or being distracted by anything or anyone else's opinion or choices or whatever they decide to do. That choice has nothing to do with you. You're blocking that. You're moving away. That doesn't resonate with you. That didn't serve you any good based on what you already dealt with. You're moving forward. You're holding on to your dreams and your vision here. You're fighting for what you want, yes. And nothing comes easy. But what I see you doing is get ready to embrace what is yours here. Whatever didn't serve you as far as others holding on to the way that they feel and how holding on to the way that they see fit to help you or to give you a little helping hand, that is in the past because, honey, angels is working over time here, okay? And they're making sure that whatever it is that you are putting in, it is coming back to you. Ten times gold. You're coming across some kind of an unexpected something. Either some unexpected help or hate or money or something. But something is coming in. Maybe this is this could be something that you've been praying for with this nine of cups, Scorpio. You're putting in the work for something, but some of you are either thinking about either buying a car or a house or something. You're thinking about investing something. You're praying about this over time. You're yearning this, you're sleeping this, you're dreaming about this. It's happening. Clarify the, the, uh, the, the past, the present, and the future, please. Okay. There's no going back right now. That's over. That's going to have to be on hold. If you want to achieve what you need to achieve here, then you have to have no distraction. This is distraction right here. The Knight of Pentacles here, there's nothing manifesting here because someone is still stuck here. No movement coming in. The Eight of Wands here, this is what's coming in towards you. Keep going. Don't stop. Do not get distracted here because opportunity, honey, is coming on in, okay? The Eight of Wands, the Page of Wands in the reverse here, and then we have the Wheel. This is all good luck, all contentment. Everything that you are manifesting is a sign that you are on the right track. Is you not letting anyone that has to do with anything that's a narc or anything that is mind game or shadowing your vision here or doesn't serve your higher your higher purpose, get your higher ups, you releasing those. Baggages and loads and, and stress, you're releasing that. I'm seeing you releasing this. You're moving forward. You're rushing into something new or something is rushing in towards you. Even if 
you find yourself kind of feeling kind of stuck like you're not able to push the angels are lifting you up higher they're lifting you up higher to be sure that you accept the help from helpful people helpful souls spiritual people what is this yeah you cleanse the energy for sure okay because you have no choice to because just know that the people that you may thought or you might have thought that would be there to help you there will be no help from you know, on inside from those people okay relationship family ships friendships there's no help there okay you're going to be getting help yes but it's helpful hands from people that you might have never thought that would have been done doing anything for you in the long run but at the end of the day i see you wearing your crown here you're wearing your crown you're using your throat chakra you're using your third eye chakra here and you're moving forward into something bigger and better for yourself something is about to awake or something already has awoken look at that the eight of pentacles yeah you're putting in the work you guys you know. You know what to do. The three of cups. You put in the work. And whatever work that you're putting in here. It's been manifested. It's been manifested. It's done. You can't be harmed or touched. And you can't be on. You can't be stopped. You're a force. Justice is on your side. Somebody's going to deal with something that is a harsh karmic payback here. Because they start. They tried to stop you. But failed miserably. Whatever they might have caused or tried to stop you, that was sent back. Whatever pain was sent, that was sent back. The third party situation, that's that's sent back too. You're releasing that. You're healing. Because they wasn't smart. So you got gonna have to take, you're gonna take control of what they had to do. And you're doing it. And you're getting it. While they're watching and got nothing going on, you're doing big things. Their energy is still blocked because somebody's still caught up with a third-party karmic person that you're getting ready to move away from because you have no choice. If you stay stuck with this person, then you'll be caught up in an eight of, in an eight of swords and feeling very overburdened here. This should be them, not you. Okay? You're moving into something big and band and brand and gold here, a magician. You, 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 you're working on you. You're working on you, boo. And you would need to stay working on you because this conflict, Sonny, has to end. You ain't going back to these conflicts because those, that, those conflicts already took its toll. Those conflicts already did what it needed to do. It already did what it needed to do. And you're done with that. Okay? Yep, look at you. Arising from something here. You're walking into some glory here. Listen, I'm hearing you're going to meet someone here. This person is a spiritual person. Okay, this person is a very spiritual person. This person is going to help you to find the clarity that you need. This could be a reader. You might have connected with a reader that's going to help you. Okay, that reader might have given you some solid advice here. It might have been something that you didn't want to hear, but they did give you some clarity in here. They did align something. This is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, they did because you were dealing with something at that time. When you connected to this spiritual person, you were dealing with something at that time and that person helped you. You might have felt like it didn't help, but it helped. They gave you some great insights here based on what they saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they did tell you that you was going to meet someone here. And you are. And you will. And you might have already. Clarify that person, please. Please clarify that. Oh, thank you for the confirmation. The Ace of Pentacles, honey. Yes, it's here. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups here. All right, but you have to be very careful, okay? Because you don't want to be weighing your options here, okay? You don't want to be weighing your options. When this person comes in, you'll know it. This You will know it, but just don't get distracted or get disabled or have your life out of alignment here. Um, there's something that is moving very slowly here. This could be your healing process. This could be what is coming in as next. But let judgment do what judgment has to do over here. And you focus over here. Okay, um, because this is not for you. This is not your work to take care of. This is the angel's job, not yours. You're going to focus on this Ace of Pentacles, which is bringing in new love, which is bringing in um, happiness here, which is bringing your goals, setting your goals into place, moving towards your money here, the Nine of Cups, 
the Ten of Pentacles and moving towards that. The Nine of, the nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles here. Happiness and total bliss here. Building your empire with this Eight of Cups. Building your empire with this... Um, building, moving into something grand here. Getting ready over here for this Eight of Pentacles. Building something here. If you need the help, get the help because you don't want to be overwhelmed or overburdened here, okay? Your tower moment is ending. You won't be happy that anymore because you're remaining focused. Focus on what you want. Focus on your dreams and your goals here. Tell me more. Okay. All right. The four of wands. The four of wands and the set and the six of pentacles. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're either about to buy a house for sure, something you, something massive. If it's not a house, it's a car. You're getting a brand new car or a house or something. You're manifesting into something new, something that you wanted. You're not going to get any help from any damn body. Okay, these people is not going to help you. They're not going to help, Scorpio. Just go ahead and do what you need to do because they're deadbeats. They're over there, done with. They're losers. They don't wish you no good. They want to see you down. Don't even ask for no help from these people. Pray to the universe. Pray to your ancestors and ask them for guidance. Pray. Do what you need to do. But don't ask for help from these people because these people don't want to see you good. They want to see you down. They want to see you go down, okay? And there's no down here. There's only going up, okay? This is going to be your read, Scorpio. Open it, resonate with you guys. Please do not hesitate to like, to share, to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. I love you guys to the moon and stars. I'll see you tomorrow in your next one. Until then, always remember, I love you. Bye, guys.